Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I am testing out the new e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. So this bronzer is a new release to Australia. It was released in the US a while ago, but you know, Australia is always late to the party. In the US they released eight shades and it retails for $6. And in Australia we only got five shades and it retails for $14. I picked up the shade Tan Lines, which in Australia is the lightest one whereas in the entire range there is a shade that's actually like really light and cool toned and I had my eye on that one so I was very disappointed that we didn't get it here because it just looks perfect for fair skin so I'm hoping that this one isn't too dark for me now it's described to be a putty to powder bronzer highly pigmented buildable color and has a semi matte finish it says it's lightweight and it feels non greasy on the skin so I am going to put on a bit of makeup and then we can get into testing the bronzer. All right, so for foundation, I use the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. This is in the shade Hint of Latte, but I do have to lighten it with my Astralis Lightning Drops. And then I used the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Fair Beige. I've also done my brows. I used a Maybelline pencil. I'll list all the products, other products I used down below. Let's give it a little swatch. Okay, it feels very creamy very smooth so although it is you know it's not too warm but it's a little warm it's very very sheer so I think that this could work I'm actually going to swatch it up against some of my other cream bronzers I really don't have many I've got three others <laughs> let's just compare them okay so this is the elf putty bronzer in tan lines this is the Fenty cheeks out cream bronzer in butter biscuit one of my absolute favorites this here is the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. This was limited edition. And then this here is the Soul Face and Body Bronzing Balm in the shade Light. This one has always been a bit too warm for me. Although this one looks really dark, it shears out very nicely. This is definitely my favorite shade. So I also picked up the Putty Blush Brush from e.l.f. It was like advertised with the bronzer, but it's called a blush brush. I don't think I really realized that at the time. I wouldn't usually use a brush like this for bronzer because it's quite thin. Even for blush, I don't know. Like the, the bristles are flat. You know, you need it to be more rounded. But anyway, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. The other brush I really like for cream bronzer is this one here by Eco Tools. It's just called the bronze. That's it. Okay, so this brush is actually working quite well. It's blending the product beautifully, very evenly, and the shade has definitely sheared out. It's very I don't know if creamy is the right word because it's like a thin consistency, but that has blended so easily and I can definitely see that it's got a little bit of a glow to it. If my bloody sideburns would just stay out. <laughs> and let's do a little along the hairline just to add some color back to my face. Okay, I am sold. I love it. I think the shade has actually worked out really well. It's very lightweight in texture. As I said, it feels quite thin. It definitely doesn't feel greasy or like too thick on the skin. It applied beautifully. It blended out very easily and it hasn't picked up any of the foundation underneath. All right, I have finished my makeup and this is what the bronzer is looking like. I feel like it's a lot more subtle than I was expecting. And I'm actually really impressed with the shade. It isn't as warm as I thought, which is a good thing. So, mm, I'm digging it. I did just go ahead and apply a little bit more over my powder and it didn't bring up any of the makeup. This brush, I'm impressed with. 
I did judge it at first, but I think the duo fiber bristles just make it very light and you know, it doesn't disturb any of the other makeup. So I'm digging this brush. Overall, I would definitely recommend this bronzer. It was very nice to use. I will leave a comment or something in the description box just with a little update on how it wore throughout the rest of the day. I would love to hear your thoughts if you've tried out the bronzer or are you going to try it out now? Let me know. If you have any other questions, leave them below as well and I'll get right back to you. But besides that, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and I lost my train of thought oh come follow me on TikTok and Instagram all right I'm done see you later